Hi everyone, welcome back, it's Michelle. I have another really cool album for you. And this is simple and I like it because it has that layered look, kind of like the recipe album that we did. And it's no binding, which is the best, especially when you're doing holiday. A lot of you are doing Halloween and Christmas, so um, this is gonna be something quick but really beautiful and you can alter it any way you want. I'm definitely loving the stacked layered look because it just looks so much more fun than, you know, if the album you're just receiving like this, you have it and it just adds some like oomph to it, right? So I'm gonna show you a few different ways you can alter yours and you'll see as you go along, I'm sure you'll get ideas just like you know I do when I'm crafting. So when you open it, I had almost left this just like a cover. Um, actually, I don't wanna say the idea because I might save for another one, but um, when you open it, you can totally make this a pocket, but what I did was leave it to expand it and make it longer and just more fun. And I know so many of you like flippy things. And then here, of course, is your top pocket here. So again, if you wanna change this, you can do a, si a side pocket this way, or you can do a top pocket like that. And then, okay, in my album, I had uploaded without the string, because I actually added this. Um, I was considering just making a pocket, but what I had done was added some vellum, and I actually left it expanded, and then I have the vellum page right here. And I left it like a little shorter so it could stick out because look how pretty that looks when you, if you receive it. And again, if you don't want to do like the string, you can absolutely just make this a side pocket. You could even cut it down more if you want. Um, you could do it this way. So it's like tucked in, you know, like a folder. Um, or you could do another top pocket. So super simple. Basically, I just did something stacked and again these die pieces that I got remember I told you when I got my haul if you saw it um, like how they would really make this album so you can see it just makes it so much um, when you see how easy it is okay so we're just gonna need three sheets of paper to make this album and FYI I scored mine already because I had to re-record the first few minutes because my dog woke up from a nap and he decided he was going to whine. <laughs> and I was like, okay, they don't wanna hear this. So um, the first page, okay, we're gonna do three pages. The first page is gonna be a four by eight sheet of paper. Go ahead and line it up at your eight inch score line and we're going to score it at three and three quarters and seven and a half. So three and three quarter right here, which I already did and seven and a half. Okay, now I wanna show you something. So this is gonna be our cover. So I want you to see when you're doing your cover, um, it's gonna look like this. So this is gonna be inside, actually, hold on, I want mine like this. So know that when you're doing this, this is gonna be your cover, okay? Hopefully that's not confusing. Okay, so this is page one. Now we're gonna go ahead and set page one aside. And we're gonna do page two. So page two is simply a four and eight and a half sheet of paper, and you're literally just gonna fold it in half, or you can score it at four and a quarter at the eight and a half inch score line. So I'm going to go ahead and do mine because I want it to look clean. So four and a quarter, that's just simply in half. Okay, and it's just gonna be like that. So, let me do my other scores here. So here's gonna be the first page and the second page. Okay, it's gonna be looking like this. And now let's do the third page and then we'll assemble it. So the third page is gonna be four by nine and a half. Now remember, if you want this album taller, do five by nine and a half, do six by nine and a half. This is just a really simple like four inch album, but you can obviously add height to it with the same exact measurements. Okay, and then at the, um, hold on, let me see which way to open my paper to be. Okay, went this way. So um, at the nine and a half inch score, scored at half an inch and five and a half inches. So half an inch and five and a half or wherever you want here this is just that like pocket 
So it's going to go like that, okay? Just fix my scores and make them more pretty. Okay, now, so we're gonna go ahead and take our papers and let's assemble this. Okay, so this is basically, oops, that's the wrong one. So this is page two, okay? So let's just take our middle page and this is what's gonna support all this. So this is our first little page here. And what we're going to do is take that little score line and we're just going to tape it on there. Now give it a little leeway because remember you are folding this. So don't make it so the page is going to fold too much on top of each other. So right here I'm just using some double sided tape. Okay, so taking page one and this is page two. And I'm just going to... Put it on there and like I said just kind of right before that score line because you don't want to mess it up so it's going to fold like this okay it's gonna fold just like that and now we're gonna go ahead and do our third page which you're gonna have this score line here and for that one we're going to just stack it on this side Now remember, you can go on and on and on with this and make your own really fun, huge stacked album. You can make it deeper, um, but it's just a fun method that you don't need to do the binding. I personally <laughs> get really tired of doing the binding, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this on. Okay, and let me, let me show you a fun idea. So if you want to make this really cool and interesting, what you could do at this point, so this is gonna be our pocket. We're going to glue this down. Before you would glue that, you could take your punch, okay? And you could put a circle here or whatever shape or run it through your die machine and make a shaker on that pocket or make it so there's vellum there and you can see through it. So I almost did that, but I didn't. <laughs> but I thought it would be a fun idea to share. So I'm just gonna go ahead and punch that with my two inch punch. Okay, so let's go ahead and seal this up. So what I'm gonna do is glue this. So I'm gonna just glue my pocket down or tape it because I didn't refill my glue. So let me just tape this. Yeah, that's why I'm using tape today. But I actually like the tape for this album because the score lines are so easy. So I'm just doing a little L shape here. I saw many of you like this already, so I'm so excited to share this with you on my Instagram. Sorry, sometimes I actually had started this album yesterday. Okay, so wait, let me just show you that I'm just sealing that pocket. Okay. Just like that and if you want you can and I'm, this is my little flip in the front so you can see it's already coming together and then here is where I would make my little punch again but look we're already done with the album it was literally just three sheets of paper and again if you want to um, make it a pocket you can top or side but I'm gonna leave it and I'm gonna show you how easy don't be afraid to like use um, string and bind something together because it's really simple let me try this twine oh gosh it's kind of thick but I just want to show you the easiest way um, the vellum just FYI is just four by eight and a half and you can score it at four and a half or just fold it in half. I'm just going to fold it. But as I was saying, don't be afraid to bind because I want to show you just how easy it is, especially those who do like junk journal or want to do junk journals that I keep promising that I haven't done yet. But hey, this is kind of a junk journal method, okay? So, okay. I normally if I was not on camera what I would do is just take this and punch them both together 
but I don't want to mess it up. So I'm going to show you a simple way. So I'm just going to add two punches on this line, on my score line right here. And I'm just eyeballing it and see how it's a little off. Yep. But that's all right. And I'm just going to do the other side. Okay. So you don't want to mess up your pages. And what I like to do is just open this back up and line it on there the way you would or just punch them together but if you don't want to risk it you just add it on that line and just trace over because it's vellum and you can see through it you can just make the dots and then punch out the dots or just punch them both at the same time but again I didn't want to mess up uh, my hole's actually not that great but that's all right it's kind of hard when I'm filming to show you guys and I don't want my face all up in here when I'm trying to film. Okay. And then I'm just going to take some string or twine. This is actually kind of too thick. Honestly, is this one the same? It is. I actually forgot to grab twine. So I'm looking. Give me one second. Oh, actually, I have some elastic right here. I'll just use that. So if you don't have twine, you can use this. This I got from like the Dollar Tree or something. It's, yeah, definitely the Dollar Tree. This is a little brighter than I wanted it to be, but that's all right. Okay. But you see how easy this is. So when you do junk journals, don't be afraid of like no binding or whatever methods. So I want my string in the middle, not on the outside, so I'm just gonna pop it through. It's just two holes in string, and you can pop it through. But again, if you don't wanna do this part, I feel like this would be great for a photo album. Like if you're snail mailing a photo album, this would be so, so pretty for that. especially with the vellum. And if you don't have vellum, use regular paper, no big deal. So yeah, I was actually in the middle of doing this just right and I didn't love what I did. So I changed it up and I like how it is now. I didn't really love it. So right there, you see how easy it is? Just two holes, some string, and then you have this beautiful look to it. Okay, and I'm going to decorate. And these little pieces, just FYI, in case you didn't see my haul, these little things were actually ephemera journals and bits, and I'll link it in case you want them. But you guys know that I have these kind of tutorials up, so you don't have to buy this kind of stuff. I'll link it in my description so that you can make. I'm pretty sure it's almost close to this size. I'm trying to see here. I'm trying to look at one of my older ones, like... Actually, that's a little bit bigger. If you guys want, I can totally make you one for this. But I didn't do that because these pieces came in a kit. So you can see it's nice and stacked. And I'm just going to go find some pieces here to add. Just to make it different, that does match pretty good. But I just want to see what else we got here. Okay, you know what? I'll go with the flower. And I'm going to use some foam tape. Just to make it pop out a little bit. Okay, and then I added a flower here, kind of on the edge. Does this go together? Oh, it does. Hmm. Very interesting. This pink paper line is beautiful, though. The pink fresh, oh, they make it so easy to make everything, like, gorgeous. Is that painting enough? It is, I guess. I want like a really big one right here, if I have one. This one kind of looks bigger. Is that going to 
feel like this one's kind of too small for that page. Hold on, let me play with this for a second. <clears throat> Maybe this one. Because I want it to really stick out. Hey, buddy, you got to give me just a few minutes, okay? He's so freaking spoiled, you guys. Like, he totally... He's like crying right now because I'm not giving him attention. <laughs> I guess that's a normal thing. But see, so I stacked it just to let it, but this page is so pretty. I love that. And then what did I do? Where's my um, album? I need to see what I did. Sometimes I just don't know what I do. I'm gonna back this up. I have this huge tray because there's so many pieces in this, I had to um, really um, add a lot. I don't like that there. It's a little too green. Hold on, let me flip this. I actually meant to make my cover like this, and I realized in the middle of the tutorial that I put it on wrong, so. But you know what I could do if I wanted to fix this? is I could simply just glue that down and not have that flap there. But I'm just gonna live with the mistake <laughs> and then keep going. Okay, and then a lot of my scrap pieces, you guys know that I like to just take it and you know, you can make little eyelets and things for the top. I'm just gonna take some scrap and stick it in there. Oh, it's the same thing. I don't want to look the same. Okay, and then in here, I have all these little ephemera pieces that belonged in that kit. And I'm not going to use the double-sided um, foam for inside. I'm just going to use regular flat tape. Cute, already coming to life. And many of you are like, oh, you make it look so easy. It is easy, I promise you guys. It's so easy. You just play with your pieces and it just comes together, especially when these companies give you these awesome supplies that make everything so beautiful for you. You know, it will be really, really pretty here. I'm just gonna improvise right now is I feel like a piece of vellum or something right here would be so pretty. I don't know what this one specifically. Oh no, I tried to get that on so even. Why? Hold on. Nope, it's gonna rip. So I'm going to leave it, but... Okay, you guys see I tried to make it really cute. I'm just gonna put this on for now. Oops, I grabbed the wrong tape. I'm just using more double-sided tape. I'm just gonna pop that on there. Sorry, it's crooked. Don't really like that. Okay, but anyway, you get the idea. So there's that. And then you flip it. What did I have on this side? I had another one of those really cool little envelopes. And then inside I just have this. So do I have any more of those envelopes is the question. I think I do. It might be too big. This is the only one left. It is kind of big, so I'm gonna have to leave that off. But this is really pretty against that, so I'm gonna add that instead of an envelope. 
And usually when I do an album, I don't typically glue the whole ephemera on. I kind of just stick it because glue sometimes makes it too soggy looking and tape like it just you see the strip I put on and it still holds it really well but if it's too big I might put like an extra piece but I never really like drown it when I'm doing an album so and then in here I feel like this could be pretty some wording could even put another pocket here if you want. So it looks like that. And then you have this and whatever you want to put on it. What did I put on mine? Okay, so I had another piece there. Do I have another piece? That's the question. That's kind of too much wording going on for me. I don't like when it's just word, word, word after word. Okay, that's better. So I have a couple of tutorials. It's just me getting in here and sitting. Sometimes I get so distracted. I thought that I would be in here nonstop, but that is not the reality, just because my son's back in school. Okay, so here we go. Ooh, and it's totally the wrong way. So here it is, and as you can see, side by side. I like to do this so you guys can see the difference. Um, oh, hold on, I wanna use one of these clips. Where can I put this? Okay, so anyway, here we go. We've got this side by side, our new, and I definitely like this cover more. Wish I had more of some of that. You open it. You've got this. So pretty. You open it up. Again, you can make a pocket there. And flip through. Love this gray and pink. It's so pretty. And I just switched up the envelope. So if you don't have an envelope, at least you could see how it looks. I actually like the way it looks without the envelope. And then you open it, or you may have your pocket, and then you have this, and then your little like vellum page if you want to add photos or ephemera pieces on there. So thanks so much, you guys. I think this would be so cute for Halloween, Christmas, anything. It's just quick, and I love that it's no binding, and it looks so clean when you create it, um, you know, without it looking weird, without an accordion album or something. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching.